I'm Sarah Birch with Kingston is News and here are your top headlines today June 25th 2024. On Wednesday, June 20th, 2024, Rowing Canada v. Run, the Canadian Olympic Committee and the Canadian Paralympic Committee announced the roster of Team Canada rowers nominated to compete at the Paris 2024 Games. Two athletes from the Kingston area have made the cut. Christina Walker from Wolf Island and Jenny Casson from Kingston will both be representing the best in Canadian rowing as part of Team Canada. A local individual is facing assault charges after police were called to a residence on Amberdale Crescent over the weekend. While visiting their ex-partner's residence, the accused had been drinking alcohol and was politely asked to leave. However, they became verbally aggressive towards the victim and their two children. The accused person suddenly lashed out violently, striking the victim in the head with a container of paint before attempting to strangle one of the children and striking the other child in the face. Greater Napanee firefighter Mackenzie Grovesner received the province's highest honour, the Ontario Medal for Firefighter Bravery, last week at a ceremony in Toronto. Grovesner gives partial credit for the award to his girlfriend, Alyssa Robodeau, who alerted him of a car on fire outside of their home. Immediately, the pair rushed out to find what Grovesner describes as a head-on collision, a two-vehicle car accident. A release from the Ministry of the Solicitor General reads, Firefighter Grovesner's quick and selfless actions undoubtedly saved a life that night. The Killaloe Detachment of the OPP is currently investigating a collision just before 8 p.m. on Friday, June 21, 2024, on Highway 41, which involved three vehicles, including a car, an SUV, and a pickup truck. The OPP found that the 38-year-old driver from Kingston crossed over the center line on the roadway, striking a northbound SUV. The pickup truck swerved to avoid the collision and struck a guardrail as a result. The driver from Kingston required extraction from the vehicle by the fire department and was airlifted to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. On Friday, June 21, 2024, Canadian Forces Base Kingston hosted an official transfer of command ceremony and at the same time a change of appointment ceremony, welcoming in new leadership at the local base. At the Friday ceremony, command of CFB Kingston was transferred from Lieutenant Colonel Ian Clark to Base Commander-designate Colonel John C. Scott, concurrently a change of base Chief Warrant Officer appointment between CWO Sean P. The City of Kingston is looking for feedback on its winter weather-based parking pilot project. The project allows for overnight street parking during the shoulder months of December and March, weather permitting, with January and February having the full overnight parking ban. Residents of Kingston can visit the Get Involved Kingston project page to complete a short survey on the pilot. For more on these stories and other local news, visit kingstonist.com and subscribe. Use my code SARAHB2024 for 10% off.